Do you have any more crazy stories like that that you've never told me about? It wasn't really. Where's like, the craziest place you've ever had sex, other than your parents' living room on the carpet? In the lazy river at the Vernon Hills public pool. Ew! Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. After hours, yeah. What do you mean after hours? <laughs> like we like we like all jump the fence. You might have been there. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been you. <laughs> it might have been we you. Like, we like jump the fence What's after hours. What's up with that sex with water? Why do people like that? I don't it know. doesn't work. No. How my, does that work? What? My, my friend had sex in a hot tub once and he got a UTI and his dick blew up and it looked like a cherry tomato. No, no, it's great. You you almost have like pressure around that's you. the problem is the really? pressure it goes inside your pee hole Oof. and i think that's what fucks you right isn't that isn't that how, it, how utis happen yeah or one way they can yeah yeah and then it's just a really uncomfortable feeling yeah but there's no lubrication the water the water is the water is not lubricant it's not soapy water okay hold on stop it uh, what happened what happened where you had sex with this person um it was your girlfriend at the time right yeah it was my girlfriend at the time so we all went out on a saturday night and you know we were like 17 18 at the time so we decided to jump the public pool fence to go into the lazy river sure it's literally right by my house i know exactly where it is right um so we we jumped into the, the lazy river and you know while everybody was doing their thing uh we decided to have sex and whose idea was it i don't remember and it was like it was it was underwater yeah so no one saw no people saw were they like oh my god they're having sex yeah but it was at night so like, it was just our friends. So, yeah, and they were like, yeah, they were having sex. I mean, everybody knew. Oh. And did you, like, finish? Yeah. What's the guy oh, there? you? fucking goodness. Isn't that fucking crazy? It's so gross. It's really gross. It's but we were also, like, really, really young and dumb. What was better, the lazy river or your friend's carpet? <laughs> 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 this is a really sexual podcast. They've been really sexual lately. Yeah, they have. We should tone it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't have any sexual stories, so we're good here. Really? Mm-hmm. That's a fucking lie. What was it, your favorite time you've ever masturbated? <laughs> <laughs> what, was the, what was the craziest place you've ever masturbated? <laughs> I was looking at this guy's butthole in Skokie. And <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, Jason. Was that you? Um, no, right on. Oh, man. I saw a good porn the other day. Fuck. I wanted to tell you about it. <laughs> You guys oh, sex each other about porn? Shit. No, no only never. when it's like real creative. I feel like that's a thing to do though. Well, only when they're real creative. Yeah, yeah, but Jason and I are not the guys. Sure, sure. That but like if I if porn. I texted you porn right now, I was like, dude, if watch this. If you texted me, I'd be like, yeah. If Jason you, texted me, I'd be like, thought bro, about why? texting you, but I, I was like, that's kind of weird. You text him porn? No, no, we no, have no, definitely texted each other porn. No, before. I would never send him a video. I'm saying like I'll tell him about a porn I saw. That like I saw a funny one. A funny one was like Velma having sex with Scooby. Yeah. And people were dressed up in costume. And it was like Scooby Doo, but they were having sex. And then there was one that, like, it was like the Flintstones having sex. So, like, there's like funny porn like that. We were supposed to tone this down. (laughs) This was really funny. Jason and I went to Chipotle today. And I know the woman that worked behind the counter. And she goes, This was awful. She goes, Oh, you're here by yourself today. (laughs) And. And Jason goes, uh, what am I, chop liver? <laughs> and she goes, oh, oh, no, sorry, I didn't, he's just usually with a bunch of younger people. Right? <laughs> uh, well, Jason goes, yeah, that's the story of my life. Yeah. And then, uh, and then she goes, um, so are you the dad? <laughs> yeah, she kept going. And now we're like, the, now we're in the weird spot where we have to like, tell this woman that's working at Chipotle, like, uh, <laughs> She, he's not. He's no, not. no. Then David goes, he's my sugar daddy. Yeah, I go, he's, he's my sugar daddy. Like, how do you explain to somebody that, no, we work together? Like somebody that doesn't yeah, that's really all work. you got to say. That's all you got to say. Yo, I know, but that we sounds, work together. That sounds more suspicious, so I'd rather go, yeah, I'm fucking him. Like, I'd rather just say it than. Why is that suspicious? Ilya works with guys who are in their 40s. No. Did, no, I would did, never did, hire Did Jace, or I mean, did David ever tell you? When you guys first started hanging out, David would call me and he'd be like, hey, I'm friends with this older dude. <laughs> Is it cool if we bring him to the party? <laughs> what? You would call and I didn't have to ask? You asshole. You asshole. Because you know what? On 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 the surface, he never made me feel once like yeah, I was because yeah, yeah. I would say I'd be like, "Are you sure it's okay?" Then I'd be like, "Yeah, totally fine, no problem." <laughs> I never want to sleep with my friend. We're good, man. I never want to pull you into a situation where it's weird. So yes, I would always check ahead of time. Just lie to me. It's like it's like when then you then say that. Go, yeah, I had to call and ask. No, but don't make me feel like oh, everyone can't wait to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was it's it, it's kind of like when you have like a like a service dog with you. <laughs> <laughs> and you have and you have to call the restaurant and be like, hey, can Sheppy come with me? He just sits by my side. He won't bark. Uh-huh. Like it's kind of like that. 
Um, but no, everyone, everyone, there was never anybody that was weirded out by it. They're like, yeah, cool, bring them by. <laughs> it, but it is, it's the craziest thing. Like when we were in our friend Nick Salerno's basement. Yes, I remember that. It's the craziest thing to be hanging out with a bunch of kids in my high school. And then you're, <laughs> you're sitting in the living room watching TV. Like with the parents. <laughs> oh my god! And the craziest part is, is like you're watching with the parents. You guys are doing your thing for like two hours, just talking about stuff, right? right. And then I come up and I go, Jason, you ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> As if I brought you on the play date to talk to his parents. So and, yeah. then, and then I gotta have that awkward break with the parents. I go, well, yep, I guess we're gonna go now. So. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, yeah, I gotta go hang out with the kids. Yeah, that's... gotta go, gotta go hang out with your children now <laughs> till three in the morning. <laughs> you guys have. Insane chemistry, and it's such a unique relationship. Thank you. you know what I mean? Thank you. Tell David that. No, really. I mean, so it, like, he it's, values, it's, we, we, he values you, uh, Mark. Have, have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a relationship like that where it's like you guys are literally what twenty five years apart? No, we're ac- we're actually twenty three years apart on the dot. Oh, twenty three years apart. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. Special. No, I've never seen a relationship like that. But I mean, it's like I'm trying to think. It's pretty. I, I look for it all the time on TV. I look for older guys and younger guys that are together. Well, that's that's, your, that's ever... your Pornhub search? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> older guy with younger guy. I do look for it. Like Older guy mooching off younger guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it. Double penetration. <laughs> hey, if anybody makes porn out there, you should make a David and Jason porn. Oh that'd be really my great. God, Th- yeah, that would be sick. Put the, put a black hat on the guy named David, <laughs> and have Jason just be coming in. Hey, you want to make a video today? Let's get some work done. Actually, yeah, scratch that. I probably should get fucked through the whole thing. <laughs> just, just I have you tied up on a wall. <laughs> Yeah, no, we do have an interesting relationship, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. But, yes, at, at first it, it did take a little bit to convince people that. Yeah, I bet. I felt horrible. I, when you would invite me to Chicago, I'd be like, I, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go hang out with your high school friend. And not that I didn't want to. I'm like, but they don't want me there. Now what's great is people ask for you. Ah, oh, that's nice. Now people go, is Jason coming? Is Jason coming? And I go, I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they go, fuck, thank God. Uh, so, yeah, well, your friends are really special people. I was with my dad for Christmas, and he's like a tough jock, you know, like. He's like a hard ass. He's like a real hard ass, like real macho kind of guy. And then he he came over to me and uh, he, he got me alone and he just goes, uh, hey, uh, what's going on with David and Natalie? Are they dating? Like uh, that. And I'm like, nothing. There's no deal. They're friends. He's like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are, you, what are you being Mr. Gossip all of a sudden? Wow. Yeah. So then he brought up New Year's and then I said, last year, I took my kids to see with Jojo Siwa to a Queen cover band, which I thought was a really nice thing to do as a dad. And then I asked the, the kids and I was like, wasn't that fun that I did that? And they were like, yeah, it was okay. I was like, fuck off. I was like, I, I skipped New Year's for you guys. Finally, you see how ungraceful those little turds are. Little shits. <laughs> Come hang out with us more, make videos. <laughs>